What's good, YouTube? This your boy T World back with y'all again with another art tutorial, man. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that like button, comment, subscribe. Make sure you click post notifications so you will be notified every time you boy drop some heat. In today's video, I will be giving you guys a full walkthrough on how to make a cartoon head start to finish. So, without further ado, let's jump right into it. Okay, the first thing you want to make sure, you want to make sure the size of your layout is 18 by 18 inches. So, before you start your project, go to File, go to New, and then just make sure you got this size. Because this is a good size for like Instagram and stuff like that. That's the size I use. Since I already got it saved, I ain't got to do it. Now what you want to do, you want to drag and drop the picture you want to use. Drop the opacity down. Lock that layer. Create you a new layer. And then you come up right here. If y'all always wondering how I get those lines, I use a digital tablet. It's called UG, where I draw right onto the monitor. But all I do is come right here and I go to new brush then I hit OK and then I click pressure. Then I hit three and I put three right there. And now let me make sure I got my, my, my pen on the right string. Now, I get those lines y'all see me with. And all it is, it's not a certain style of line. It's just that I start out light. It's just me using a pressure technique. So I start out light, and then I press down hard in the center, and then I end my lines with light pressure. So it'll give me that effect like it's a calligraphy pen or something. But yeah, that's how I get that effect. I know a lot of people be asking me like, what kind of brush you use? And I wish I had your brush. And I'm not even using a brush. Now this is the setting for my tablet. So I put my tablet on high pressure. That mean I gotta press down firm for it to respond. So with that, it'll even help me press down even lighter since it's harder to pick up so when I end my lines it'll be a little more sharper but yeah all you got to do is set your pressure sensitivity if you're using a tablet and you will be able to get those exact lines you see me using now the first thing you want to do when you are dealing with making your cartoon head is paying attention to detail with your line work so what I like to start out with is the nose in the eyes. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come right in here. We're just gonna do all the line work, make sure our lines are clean. Clean lines play a big part into your finished piece. lines coming through. Now I come up to the eyes. Thick at the top. Small line on the bottom. Just the more you do it, the better you'll get at it. So if you ain't that good yet, don't worry about it. Just, just stick to it. Then I always mute this picture so I can make sure my lines is looking clean. I just glance at it every now and then. 
And another thing too, while you're doing your line work, you gotta make sure you're closing off your lines. Make sure you don't leave no openings. So when it's time to do the the coloring technique, you won't have no problem. Cause it's a lot of people telling me like, man, every time I try to do the uh, the coloring technique, you show in your videos, it always not color certain areas and stuff like that. It's because the reason it's not, because just say if I wanted to color these a different color with the technique, I'm gonna show y'all later in the video. If I got a little opening like this, it won't be able to recognize this as an area. It'll just go ahead and color everything outside of this as well. So just keep that in mind as you're doing your, your line work, make sure you're closing off areas that you know you're gonna want to be a different color later. So bring that on around and close that off. shape of his head bring this stuff make sure our lines stay clean clean sharp lines brush back small like 0.5 
think of another thing to make some clean cartoons, you really got to utilize your, your pressure. Like, you got to learn a certain technique yourself. You know what I'm saying? So, I prefer you to invest in you a tablet so you can have that option. You know what I'm saying? Because it's get more control when you get to really draw it yourself other than using your mouse and you be more efficient with a tablet Now, from the color in this hair, we're going to fill in the hair and we're going to fill in the facial hair as well. So, what you want to do, you want to right click onto your brush, select pencil tool, make sure you have these settings for your pencil tool, and you want to hit OK. Right here, move that color to the top, move black to the top, and make sure your bottom color is locked. Now we're gonna come back with a pencil tool and we're gonna fill in this hair. So that's why it was cool to leave it open. And when I'm filling it in, I, I go ahead and try to add the little detail. And you'll see what I'm talking about. Like, got a hairline. Watch this when I finally close it off. You want to go ahead and try to give it like a hairy effect. And this is just like the base layer for the hair. It's not like what we're going to do our fine detail yet. What I was doing it was fit if it went ahead and filled in the area after I closed that area off so and we're gonna do all that with the hair and I'm, I like to fill in my eyes as well with that same technique And this technique right here will help you cover a lot of ground. So I go ahead and do as much as I can with it. It's good to use for like a base. And then you go on top of it with your fine detail. finer detail so 
So you use that effect for the bass. That'll cover a lot of ground for you. Now we're gonna go back to our brush tool. And we're gonna make our hair effect like around the edges. Come right up here, move our brush down to 0.5. Another thing I like to do too, I like to copy some of these little pieces of hairs I made, hold alt, and while I keep alt selected, I just drag over with my mouse, spread it out some, that'll buy you a little time, but I still would recommend you still going there yourself, just to make it look more, more realer. You do that on certain areas, but you also blend it in manually. Another thing too, doing all these hairs will eventually, if you don't have a strong computer, it'll start to slow down your computer. So what I do is like once I done got to a good point, I go ahead and I copy my line work. Let me wait, let me show you again. Go to your selection tool right here. And you wanna drag copy your line work once you got it all selected like this you want to go to object expand appearance and then you want to click merge on your pathfinder if you can't find your pathfinder just go to window and then select your pathfinder where is it right there and drag it out here see what I just did I made all my lines one so it uh save me some space on my computer if it's not fast enough you know what i'm saying if you don't got a fast computer you want to stay doing that because doing these little tedious pieces of hair it'll start to it'll start to slowly slow down your computer because it's too much going on so that's one tip, tip you need to know <clears throat> Like I told you, every now and then we're gonna make sure 
we combining our layers. So just go to object, expand, appearance, click merge. at the tedious work. detail the best way to do that come right here okay now we done made our patch what you want to do you want to copy that hold alt and just drag it around same thing but we're gonna ease up while we ease our way down we're gonna make our brush a little smaller and make our hairs a little wider okay I think that's good enough so we're gonna drag that copy that little portion while we holding it we're just gonna keep dragging it Just how far you want to go into depth. You ain't gotta. You ain't gotta go this deep into it. But me personally, I like to go this deep with it. You know what I'm saying? I want people to see it and be like, dang. And really, when you create an art, don't worry about finishing fast. Just take your time, cause it's all about the finished piece. It ain't. It ain't really about how fast can you do or how fast can you draw something. Just really take your time and you'll get faster with time. You know what I'm saying? Because the more you do something, the better you'll get at it. And then it just becomes 
easy to you. So just focus on perfecting your craft. Don't worry about speed. You know what I'm saying? Just thing about Adobe Illustrator, you get to zoom in as far as you need. So we don't make our little tots. Fire here. I was speak. Okay. I'll grab a little portion. with our line work what you want to do you want to select everything highlight everything you want to go to object expand appearance then you want to hit 
hit merge on your Pathfinder. Might take a little minute because all the little extra hairs, but yeah, there you go. Click merge. base color to start out with it ain't got to be too perfect cuz I always I'm gonna show you what I do to find my colors click OK right click your shape go to your rectangle tool and you want to drag that color over the entire picture now this is why I say it's important to make sure your lines are closed off because this is gonna let us know if our lines are closed off or not so after you drag your color over your your picture you want to right click the color go to arrange and send to back and you will know if you did this step right if you look over here at your color layer and you see your line work on top of your color so after you do that you want to highlight everything then you want to go to merge on your pathfinder it's loading real quick then you want to write still loading wait up okay then you want to right click onto your color click isolate select group now we're gonna click on this outer color right here and press delete so my lines my lines are closed off because it didn't delete inside my my cartoon head another thing I like to do to get these get the color out the hair what you want to do double click onto the just any area right here come over here click the drop down menu it again and you want to stroll down until you see the last black line work okay, okay. okay leave all this open leave the colors open just lock all the black layers so what I do is hold the left trigger on the mouse and I stroll up to lock everything that's Black. So I go down to the bottom to my last my last black line work and I stroll up holding my Okay, we finally made it to the top. What you want to do? You want to lock you want to unlock these top two right here we strolled up and we locked all our black line work and you want to make sure these two are unlocked okay now you want to come over here to your white selection tool then you want to click the hair and you see how i got it selected but it don't got our line black line selected because we locked all those Come back to uh, 
first selection tool. Then we're gonna change the color of the size. Go to isolate select your group. And all that do is make sure every area that's closed off, make it where you only get to select that area. That's why we do the isolate select group. Hold shift to select more than one thing at a time. color adjust color balance and I just I just choose whatever I think looks good to me I don't really got the base color laid out it's time to do the shading so what you want to do you want to create you a layer in between your line work and your color layer and when I'm doing my sh my shading on uh, all my cartoon heads I start with the darkest tones so we're gonna start with a dark shadow go to the eyes and then I use my I use my pencil tool to do my all my uh, shadows so we're gonna start with the eyes we're gonna get the eyes of Sample the skin tone and we're gonna see what's a good mix. Let's come up here. And I always put your shadows on different layers. Like I put all my dark shadows on one layer, and then I put all my light shadows, and the lighter I go, I put it on a separate layer just in case I want to go and adjust colors at the end. Cause when you 
doing shadows, you ain't gonna find the the perfect tone at first. So you wanna already have it on a different layer so you can go back and change the color if needed. when you're doing illustration it's kind of like you gotta translate shading because you really can't go in there and use like a like an airbrush so you gotta kind of see how would shading look using these clean lines like, so it, it it's it's takes some time to get It's a different style. Cause you gotta draw out like on a if you was drawing on like Photoshop or something, you can use like a an airbrush tool, but illustrator you gotta really draw out the shadows. So it's, it's a different style. See how we got it on our own layer? We're gonna highlight. We're gonna highlight all that. Go 
put edit. We want to go to the color, color harmony, and we just gonna tweak. Make sure you put this to all. And we gonna tweak our dark shadow. shadow so every shadow layer we add is gonna fall we're gonna make sure we put it under the next shadow and I'm gonna show you why okay now we just gonna go a little lighter this is our in-between tone we're gonna find an in-between color Top of the shadow, the dark shadow, because it's going, it's going to fall right under it anyway. That's why it's good to go ahead and put it on separate layers. And we're gonna have to change this color layer, but you already know the color ain't gonna be perfect right now. Now we finna add the details inside the hair. So what you wanna do, create you a layer above everything. Select your gradient. Come right here to your gradient. You want both of your edges to be black and you want the center to be a bright color. for some hair texture. So now, go back to our brush, make our lines a little smaller. Now, if you wanna know how do I export my artwork when I'm finished? I go to File, I go to Export, Export As. I'm gonna just say this one is desktop. Oh, wait, wait, let's go back. Go to File, Export As. Make sure you close 
be an art board. So we're gonna name this one. Shy. Export. 300 pixels. And this, I saved it as a PNG file. And then you just click OK. And there you have it, man. Make sure you stay tuned. More heat coming soon. And I'm out this time.